I'm James Watson. I'm working here as a postdoc uh, with uh, Nick White in the clinical therapeutics unit, working on uh, malaria mostly and uh, drug pharmacokinetics. There are two types of malaria, falciparum and vivax. And falciparum is the, is the better known one, and it's uh, spread across Africa. Vivax, there isn't much uh, of vivax in, in Africa, but it's predominantly in Asia, where it's more than half the malaria, and it accounts for maybe 15 million cases per year. Malaria gives you a fever, and the primary fever you treat exactly the same way for falciparum and vivax. However, vivax has a characteristic of uh, relapsing, and you have these hidden parasites in your liver that come out and give you a new illness every three or four weeks. And there's only one drug that cleans your liver and stops these relapses, which is primaquine. The problem with primaquine is that it causes anemia in people with a, a genetic deficiency called G6PD deficiency. And this is the most common uh, deficiency in the world. And so you can't give primaquine to, to lots of people. Primaquine destroys the older rather than the young red blood cells. And we believe that it's possible by giving primaquine over a slightly longer duration, so three weeks instead of two weeks, and starting with low doses and then slowly escalating the dose over time, that it's possible to do a sort of something that's similar to controlled burning, where you, you start off and you, you burn a little bit, but that stops uh, dangerous uh, anemia in a patient, and it gives the bone marrow time to respond and make new, younger red blood cells that are resistant to this toxic effect of primaquine. The most important uh, new research that's been done is a drug called tofenoquin, developed by uh, GSK, and this is exactly the same as primaquine, and it has the same uh, toxic side effects, except that you can give it as one single dose. This is uh, of, uh, an important progress because Primaquine you have to take over two weeks and lots of people don't finish their treatment and therefore don't uh, cure themselves of these, of these relapsing infections. This research started off as a project trying to understand the dynamics of red blood cells and how this drug, Primaquine, uh, destroys red blood cells. And then we've transformed that into a new regimen that we could possibly give to G6PD deficient patients. In Asia, we think that there are millions of people who are G6PD deficient and who can't take primaquine. And so these people would directly benefit from a new regimen that would be safe. We, we have ethical approval to, to try uh, this new regimen of primaquine in uh, healthy volunteers. And we're starting this in the next few months. And this hopefully should enroll about 20 patients and we'll see, it'll be a sort of proof of concept of whether this, this idea works or not.